Hello, Teresa from Lightspeed here, and uh, we're going to talk about the Zulu 3 headset today. First, though, I'd like to say thank you to Sporties for inviting us to be part of this and uh, for putting together this really fun virtual trade show. I think it's a great idea. We all really miss being at the real trade shows, as I'm sure you do too, but I'm um, happy to have an opportunity to um, let you, invite you in and, uh, and talk about our products a little bit. So thank you for um, watching, and uh, as we get started here, I'm going to talk just a little bit about Lightspeed. Speed the company. You may know a little bit about us already. The company was founded in 1996 uh, by Alan Schrader, who still leads the company today. We're privately held. Uh, some of us are pilots, and we're all very passionate about aviation, about um, serving the customer, about serving the aviation community, and I think you'll see that that really comes through in our product design as well as the way that we take care of customers. So on to Zulu 3. Um, Zulu 3 was introduced, the first one, excuse me, the first Zulu was introduced in the year 2007. And um, now we are on Zulu 3, the third generation is what we're going to talk about today. And in that 13 year period, uh, obviously it's gotten a little bit better with each um, iteration. And uh, it also, the Zulu franchise has become the best selling aviation headset in general aviation. So um, we're really proud about that and we thank everybody who's been a loyal customer of ours um, for that through the years. Uh, what a lot of people generally want to know when they come to a show and they come in and talk about headsets is um, they, they have questions about the comparisons. People usually, even if they don't actually say it, they usually want to sort of know how the Lightspeed headset compares to some of the other headsets on the market. And so that's really what we're going to focus on today. So um, we've got one here. And what we usually start by talking about is actually how the headsets are similar. Um, the top of the line headsets, Zulu 3 and, it, and its competitors, um, are, are very similar in many ways. They, um, they, you know, active noise reduction is a mature technology. We've been doing it for over 20 years in aviation, and uh, and so the ANR in these headsets is very, very good. You can just depend on that. It's kind of table stakes really now for being in the category. Um, some of the other things that are similar are the use of AA batteries, um, features like Bluetooth for both phone and music, um, a calm priority, automatic shutoff, uh, features like that are all pretty commonplace now. So what we want to talk about are really what are the differences. And so um, with Zulu 3, we really focus on comfort. Um, you know, when we do research over and over again, pilots tell us that comfort is the number one thing that they're interested in a headset. We wear them for hours and hours and hours at a time, and, uh, and comfort's really important. So, um, so we're going to talk about comfort and some of the things that Lightspeed engineers into Zulu 3 and other headsets for comfort. Um, and we're going to start at the ear seal because that's the part that's the most in contact with you all the whole time, right? It's very personal and, uh, and in contact. So let's take a look at a, at a Lightspeed Zulu ear seal. That's what this is right here. And uh, there's a few things I'm going to point out. One is that if, as you do some comparisons, you'll see that there is a lot more surface area on this ear seal than there are on many other competitors, about 30% more we would um, measure actually. And, uh, and then you'll also notice a few things about the shape. One, this teardrop shape is actually really designed to fit super good um, on your ear and really fit around the ear. Um, and that also, the, um, there's a lot of, um, you'll notice right here, there's uh, a little extra width, and that is right where your temples are. So that enables you to wear glasses or sunglasses um, and have a little bit of extra space there to spread the pressures out from. And the other thing you'll notice, if you can see that closely, is that it's a little bit um, wider at the bottom than the top, and that helps the bottom to really kind of hug your jaw and help maintain a great seal, because as you know, um, having a really good seal, the ear seal, is one of the ways that, that adds the performance of the A&R. We also use conformal foams, and so they, once they are against your skin for a minute or two, they warm up and, and form exactly to the shape of your face. So just again, it's super comfortable, very soft, um, just hard hardly know that you have it on. It'll just hold on there tight enough so that um, so that there's no, um, that you don't get any air leaks in there. So that's one of the ways that we engineer comfort into the headset. Another one is that um, you'll notice that the shape of our headband is really designed to spread the pressures of the top of the weight out evenly over the headset, over your head. And uh, so that's part of it. Um, and then, um, and, and so those are some of the things for comfort. Some of the other things that people notice as soon as they get a Zulu 3 in their hands, they notice this, this amazing sort of tactile quality of a really, really well-built headset. 
And, um, and you can see immediately that there's something special about this headset. It, it has almost no plastic in it, and uh, so our cups are made of magnesium. The uh, headband is stainless steel, and, uh, and then some of the parts through the sliders here are also made of magnesium. So just when you hold this in your hands, you really get a sense that it's just a super durable, well-built, um, beautifully crafted piece of merchandise. And um, a, the, some of the smallest details that you'll notice are things also like when you extend the sliders here, the uh, cables are wound through there in a way that you don't get sort of a loop of cable sticking out. Just small details, but things that we really pay a lot of attention to so that the aesthetics are as, as pleasing in the product as the, um, as the performance itself. A couple of other things that you may have already noticed um, is, the, uh, is, is they have very special cables. We call these our Kevlar reinforced cables and each uh, one of the conductors in this braided cable actually is a Kevlar core and it's wrapped with a bunch of other alloys and it makes it very um, strong, very durable, very uh, resilient at the, um, at the pressure points here you know, where the strain relief is. And uh, we've been putting this cable on our headsets for about five years now and uh, it has really proven itself to be very durable in the field. So people sometimes ask, who, you know, who is this a good headset for? We would say that Zulu 3 is good in almost any environment with almost any pilot. Um, we have have people that are flying with these in the northern parts of Alaska where it's incredibly cold. We have them where they've been used in the deserts of the Middle East. Um, they work well in piston aircraft, uh, turbine aircraft, rotorcraft, uh, open cockpits, uh, aerobatic aircraft, seaplanes, um, you name it. Just about everyone has a good experience um, with a Zulu 3 headset in their environment. Uh, they're available with uh, multiple kinds of plug configurations. The, the dual GA plug, of course, the most common, but it also comes with the um, standard six pin Limo connector, as well as the U174, which is sort of typically used in helicopters. And, uh, and there are some special order other plugs available. If you have a different connector need, just contact the representative and they can help you with that. So um, that's a little bit of an overview on Zulu 3. I hope you um, have enjoyed that. I would encourage you to uh, take advantage of the free shipping programs and the money back guarantee trials. You can try a Zulu, fly with it a couple times, see how you like it. If not, send it back for your money back um, and uh, really get a sense of the, the confidence in that. And probably the one last thing I would leave with is um, it's also a tremendous value. When you start to compare prices, you'll find that this package is $850 and compared to other headsets on the market that are comparable, um, that's just a really, really good deal. So, um, so we hope that you'll uh, consider Lightspeed and try one of those and uh, we really look forward to seeing you at the next shows. In the meantime, stay safe, fly safe, and we'll see you soon. Thanks a lot.